If you can't settle your CRT claim with the help of your case manager, the next step is a tribunal decision. You need to tell your story from the beginning. The tribunal member will make a final decision based on the law and evidence. Now it's time to submit evidence and arguments. What's the difference? Arguments are your story about the claim you're involved in. You should say why you think the CRT should make a certain decision about the claim. Evidence is material that proves or disproves the claim and supports what is being asked for to resolve the claim. For example, if you're the one making the CRT claim, your argument might explain what you bought, why it didn't work, and why you think the business should give you a refund. You need to submit evidence to support your argument. For example, your evidence could show who you bought it from, how much it cost, and what didn't work. This could be in the form of a receipt, a warranty, and emails or text messages between you and the seller. Now let's see an example where someone made a CRT claim against you. You're a wedding planner. A client wants part of their deposit back because they reduced the number of guests. Your arguments might explain the details of the contract that the client agreed to, and that you don't think you should have to return the deposit because it is non-refundable. You might submit evidence showing what the contract says, the date the client signed it, and the amount of the deposit. Some claims might require an opinion from an expert. This is called expert evidence. For example, if a claim is about water damage to a building, an engineer could give a written opinion about what caused the water damage, what repairs are needed, and how much they'll cost. The expert must be objective and not take sides. They'll also have to explain what training, knowledge, and experience they have that makes them an expert. Getting expert evidence will usually cost money, but if the claim is decided in your favor, the tribunal member might order the other person to reimburse you for some or all of the cost. After everyone submits their arguments and evidence, the tribunal member reviews it and makes a binding decision. The decision will be emailed or mailed to everyone involved in the claim. Learn more at civilresolutionbc.ca.